What? What? Hi, cozy friends. I thought we'd do some fun hobbies. I want to get out of the house a little bit, maybe do some shopping. So I figured I'd start it today because I'm leaving the house. And whenever I leave the house for something else, it means that I likely will go do another thing outside of the house because I don't really leave the house that often. <laughs> so when I leave the house once, I'm like, well, I might as well go to Target, you know what I mean? But I'm going to Culver City for like this iPhone 15 creator workshop thing. I would love to stop by some of the shopping over there. I was gonna Uber, but now I think I might just drive so that I can explore with y'all. So let's go, let's go out of the house. I feel like this is gonna be our one outing <laughs> for it. Maybe not, maybe not, we'll see, but probably our one outing for this vlog, let's go. A life I lead in this city. File this under once again. Kennedy forgets she lives in Southern California and it's freaking hot in the fall still. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so this has me getting there 30 minutes early, which I always like to do because I like to be invited back to things. Okay, I want people to think I'm timely and I like to be invited to these things, they're really fun. I'm gonna say better. I'll see you when I get there. Bye. You guys! Okay, this the book that I that I'm reading that I started in the last vlog. How does it feel? Or two vlogs ago? Ah! Are you kidding me? My jaw has been dropped for like the last two full minutes. I, it was literally like, what? 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 I am flabbergasted, bamboozled. We took these like cool portraits. Photographer who took Elliot Page's magazine cover, I forget which magazine it was for. And they were literally there just like doing a little workshop for us taking pictures. So I'll show you the picture because it's so cool. It's awesome. We're gonna ground ourselves, okay? We had a very LA creator day, okay? And now I'm gonna ground myself by going to Target in the suburbs. <laughs> That was a 
great target trip oh my god okay the book i got let me tell y'all something okay i love in a book in a plot in a whatever i love when like for some reason the guy is the one resisting things like not not in a way that's like i don't like you as much like he's obsessed with her maybe more so than like she is with him but there's like some dynamic where he can't get with her or like for some reason he like feels like he can't so he's like resisting things and she's like trying to seduce him and he's like no we can't we can't and she's like no we can't we can't i don't know why y'all i love that is one of my favorite tropes ever i love those tropes so <laughs> i am so excited for this book because it literally spells it out like they're a one night stand but then realize they're like both camp counselors at the summer camp but there's like a no fraternizing rule and she's not a rule follower but he is recipe for success in my eyes so i really want to go home and read that i just want to go home make some dinner finish my video my vlog that's coming out this week and read i'm so excited okay Okay, let's go. I took my pants off, so I'm not showing you the lower half of my body. I found this at Target. Little off the shoulder situation. I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna see if it if it works. Oh yes! This is like the exact look, you guys. Oh my god, it was like the perfect length. I can just wear a short skirt under this, but it's still like I can even wear this as a dress. You know what I mean? It's kind of long in the back. But like imagine a short little skirt and then some like cute shoes, some boots, maybe some leg warmers. I, I love it, I love it. I love it, it's so cute. <laughs> Y'all are so curious about the bags. Hi baby gorgeous. This little acorn basket. I kept seeing people have this little acorn basket from the dollar section at Target, but I could not find it because we didn't have a dollar section at my Target. So finally, little acorn basket. Where am I gonna put this? I don't know. Okay, then I got some birds. I kind of wish there were bats. I don't know why they're birds. I guess, you know, crows, spooky, but I just kind of wish they were bats, but I got them anyways because I feel like I need more Halloween-y stuff for this month. And then I got a vase because this literally <laughs> matches. Not exactly, but it's like a similar color story. And I feel like, what? And I feel like it'll it'll tie things together well. I don't know where I'm gonna put it right now. Right now I feel like the cats are gonna knock it off. Hello? Hello? That's crazy. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Okay. <laughs> and then I got this bowl thing. This boy at Target was like, had to be like 15 years old, like freshly 15 years old. And he was like, I'm so bad at wrapping things. Like, I just don't know how to wrap things. He's like, are you sure you need these wrapped? I was like, I don't know, bestie. I mean, at least these two, like at least the two potted things, the candles are fine. I'll deal with the candles. He's like, okay, you're saving me so much time. Thanks. As he's wrapping, he's like, don't look at me. Like I I'm worse when people look at me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't know and then he's like trying to wrap the vase I'm like maybe if you just pad the bag and then put the vase on top maybe it'll be fine that way he's like okay okay and then he did that but with the bowl he just kind of like oh my god he just like it's like a paper on top and a paper on the bottom hilarious but this is the bowl isn't it cute look at that realized I kept getting like dark things to put on dark things and that doesn't make sense so like I just did it with the red oh she's cute she's cute thanks target thank you target okay that's everything y'all that's everything thanks for the little fun haul this youtuber's vlog that i watched she was talking about tiktok of this woman who like lifted her straw and saw a huge spider like wrapped up in her stanley and i had seen that a long time ago and i had freaked out about it and was like oh my god i need to get straw covers and then i totally just forgot about it until i saw the girl's vlog and I was like thank you thank you thank you thank you for reminding me immediately placed an order for show you I should have used her storefront link I feel bad she earned her commission on those and I did not give her that commission and I feel bad about that I just straight up looked it up on Amazon look how cute look at that are you kidding me so cute it's a mini Stanley I'll leave a storefront link <laughs> If I influence you, use my storefront link. <laughs> okay, but there's so many colors. Look at this. All of this. I think my favorites are, obviously. <laughs> I should wash this, maybe? It's okay. I should have washed this. It's fine. Whatever. I absolutely should have washed that. That's disgusting. I just put it right, I'm putting it right where I'm about to drink. Girl, what is you doing? Okay, and then I have all these. I think I'm just gonna put them in the drawer for other people to use. And now I won't get spiders in my straw. And I have a Stanley on a Stanley. Hi, my name's Kennedy. I love mini versions of things. I...
I love mini versions of things. <laughs> Literally just got those from Target. I was gonna talk about those. The mini food brands have called my name. I have been obsessed with mini versions of like products and food for as long as I can remember. But they only recently came out with this when I was a doll. And I was like, why did they have that when I was a child? I would've, been, I would've put my parents in debt. <sighs> Besties, let's open it. Oh my God. There's like f four in here. I, I realize this is gonna be the breaking point for some of you with my content. You're gonna be like, I've supported you long enough. I can't support you through this. I can I can no longer back you. And that's fine. <laughs> I don't understand why you like this. And that's fine with me. They have Auntie Anne's. Cinnamon Bond onions. I didn't know they had Auntie Anne's. You guys, Auntie Anne pretzels are like an obsession of mine. Oh, <gasps> it's a pretzel! you guys how would you describe kennedy with an object it would be this miniature things and pretzels okay next one you guys i'm gonna cry <laughs> this is so cute oh my gosh look okay last one are you kidding me it's a little cinnamon it's so cute I fear that I will keep getting these because there's just something addicting about these. That genuinely made me so happy. Two more things I want to show you. I saw this shirt on either Pinterest. I think it was Pinterest. So cute. I will put the name of the shop here. It's like blue something. But it's like a little, what does it say? Strawberry farm? And then I got these socks from Amazon. I kept looking for like just cute striped like brown socks for fall. Boom, boom. And then we've got teddy bears. I'm going to work on this vlog, finish it up. Where are you? <gasps> Where was it? It was in our closet, like squished behind oh the pants. Oh my god! <laughs> I was just look. I literally was just looking for like replacement sage oh. dad caps. <laughs> Yay! Look at that. She is safe. One of my favorite monthly activities to do, which I consider a cozy hobby for sure, is my community game day with my Discord server. So I have a Discord server that's just for like my personal community, for like the stream community, the YouTube community, whatever. And it's just the best. It's like a good place for us to just catch up and vent or talk about new games or get together to play games. Like back on game release days, <laughs> there was a specific one a couple months ago. I think we spent like the max was like seven or something hours just talking while we played the games individually together. And it's so fun and so nice just to like form that community. So today's Saturday and it's the first Saturday of the month, which means it's community game day. So we are doing a little community game day with whoever's gonna join. One of my favorite things to do is play a party game with everybody that like everybody can step into and play and like one where people can join from their phones and I just stream it on my computer. But I'm so excited to be partnering with Discord to tell y'all about this. If you have an Xbox and you use Discord, you can stream your games that you're playing on Xbox to Discord now. And if you're like, Kennedy, what does this mean for me though? <laughs> okay, if you play party games with your friends like I do, but you don't want to sit on your computer. Like it's a Saturday, you guys, it's a Saturday. I want to sit on my butt on my cozy little gaming nook. And now I can do that and stream to Discord. So if you prefer playing on your Xbox versus a PC, 
juicy. So that's one use case. And second use case, you know, when you play a game with your partner and you're like, okay, but this is really just like you watching me play the game or vice versa. Like they're playing the game and you like to just cozy up and watch them play the game. This is the perfect opportunity for that. If again, you're long distance or you're just like not in the same place every night and you stream it from your Xbox. And shout out to Discord. They have been making so many improvements to the Discord app on Xbox. And I feel like it's only, it's, it's gotta only continue, right? And I'm so excited that we can stream through Xbox now, yay! And if you've never streamed to Discord before ever, I'll have a link in my description if you wanna learn more about it. It's a Discord blog post, you could just read about it. But thank you so much for sponsoring Discord. I'm gonna get to playing some party games with my friends, okay? Oh no, that shows how ignorant I am. Okay. <laughs> what is that word? Oh, that's not a baby, that's a cherub. Dasher, dancer, prancer. I have no idea. I don't either. Yeah, God. We're <laughs> too late. <laughs> okay, I'm done with the community games. It was so much fun. We played Jackbox. It just is like endless fun. Like you could play it nonstop, but we were all like, okay, we have stuff to do. We have like actual responsibilities to get to. One of my packs on packages came in. It's a little cargo mini skirt. I've been seeing these all over Pinterest and Instagram just for fall looks like this with a sweater. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm gonna try it on for you. I'm gonna try it on. Look how cute! Look how cute! This is the Target sweater. <laughs> I love it! I'm gonna try the sweater I got from Paxson and see how it looks. Oh my gosh, I love it! I love it! It's so cute! It's so cute and comfy, you know? And it's perfect for California Falls where it's still really hot. So I could do long sleeve on top, super short on the bottom, and then I'm not burning up. Okay. Now, a couple content things to do. So I'm gonna do some filming. I started listening to The Kiss Quotient. So I think I'm gonna color, do some like fall coloring and listen to The Kiss Quotient. Procrastinating filming, so I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I actually got through the filming quicker than I thought I would. So I'm gonna make some late breakfast cause it's two. I'm gonna make a lunch that is breakfast themed is what I'm gonna do. I actually have barbecue leftovers from yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna make that instead. Look how pretty my lunch looks in the rainbow. <laughs> I've been otherworldly burnt out for the past two days. I think it's because one, I'm on my period and my energy is always so much lower when I'm on my period. And I always kind of forget to give myself grace in those times. Girl, your body literally can't. It's okay to have to chill out. But then I'm like, no, I have, I have so much to do. I can't afford to chill out, which might be true. But then like sometimes you just have to adjust things so that you can chill out because your body needs to and you can't beat yourself up for the fact that like you have to listen to your body if you don't it's only gonna make it worse you know today is one of those days where i'm going to forcibly chill out i'm gonna listen to kiss quotient while i eat and color i was like what was i gonna do that was fun i was gonna color i'm so excited okay this is the kiss quotient anyone is curious
Also, the book is getting so juicy. It's really good. My body is in a state where it needs rest, I think. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, y'all. It's the next day. In a little bit, Ryan and I are going to play some Luigi's Mansion, but it's downloading right now, so it's going to take a while. But in the meantime, I have like like six boxes here I picked up from my PO box. So I felt like we, could, we haven't done an unboxing in a while. I don't like to do them too often because I feel like they're boring, but I like watching unboxing, so I don't, I'll share this one with y'all at least. One of them was this huge, this is my P.O. Box address, so you can look at it if you want. This is for Intel Gamer Days. It was so cute. Vinyl, a mouse pad, which I think I'm just gonna give this a goodwill, because I'm so particular with my mouse pads. A tote bag, water bottle, could always use that. It's a little Intel chip. Isn't he so cute? Thank you, Intel. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I hope your cat baby will enjoy this Stardew inspired cat toy. Thank you, Ashley. Ashley told me that she was gonna send this and I totally, I'll be making larger ones soon and I hope you see. I wonder if it's, oh, I think it's cat nippy. Oh my God, I hope they'll love this. I feel like they will. That is so cute. Thank you, Ashley. Someone had sent me these really cute charms. It's Blanca Berry on Etsy and on Instagram. It's Blanca Berry. I'll show you. They're, it's so cute. It's a little Korok. Love it. From Mineko's Night Market. It's like the game key. Cute little stationery. Tote bag. Oh my gosh, they're like little postcards from F Mount Fugu Island. Thank you to Mineko's Night Market. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this one. I've talked about Pape Beer on my favorites videos and stuff. We hope you love our 24 Doors of Dust Delights advent calendar. That's so cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. I, I love them. I love when brands that I've talked about reach out to me. I can't believe it. Okay, let's open it. Obviously can't like do it because it's an advent calendar, but oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at that. Also, such a good gift for someone special in your life who you know like stationery or a gift for yourself. What the heck? You guys are gonna freak out at this one because I freaked out when they DM'd me, okay? Yes, Woobles sent me PR. You know what they sent me? They sent me Bubbles the Elephant, Gertrude the Llama, Disco Fred the Dino, Rainbow Billy the Unicorn, you guys, I have no excuses now. I have to get my crochet skills together. I have no excuses. Okay, Bjorn the Narwhal. I mean, are you kidding me? Thank you so much, Woobles. You don't understand how happy this makes me. Needed an excuse to finish my other one, and now I have one because I can start all of these. Thank you, Woobles. Love you. Look at that. There's a sweatshirt, a mug, a hat, and a cute little stuffy. An almanac. Thank you, Paleo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I remember this one too. This is a plushie company, Budsters. I don't remember if I told them which one I want or they just picked the one that I think they thought I would like the most and they were right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at his little tail. Hey, he's so cute. Thank you, Spudsters. This is so cute. I love it. We're done with the unboxing. We're gonna go play some Luigi's Mansion. Yay.
guys like the chicken? Let me see. Let me see. did all of this earlier I made this my like shorts because I've been wearing those the most like my lounge shorts and then I put the jeans that I wear the most and then the colored pants that I wear the most and these are all my skirts my long skirts those are the pants that I want to keep but I don't wear as often and then here's my lounge pants over here and then here is all the stuff I'm gonna get rid of okay yay nice and organized so the next thing I'm gonna do is shower but I want to do this today I have some work to do that I'm gonna sit my butt right here and do and then this will be my reward yay also some people asked about a like quick makeup toot little makeup tutorial this is all I've been doing lately this right here concealer around my under eyes right here on my forehead blend that out and then when i want to have like a kind of more full coverage i do bb cream that i talked about in my one of my favorites video the like misha one i've tried so many blush different kinds of blushes recently i tried the rare beauty one i tried what is it merit ilia the ilia blush also but none of them blend as well as the glossier this is glossier storm i've had this for years and years like i think three or four years at this point no blush blends as well as this one does it just like blend seamlessly when i'm filming i do a little nose contour just to like highlight the shape of my nose a line like right here and then a line right underneath it just like makes it more like buttony and then i'll do a little highlighter right on the edge of the nose and then on sides and that's the um, glossier highlighter the contour was the Fenty cream contour in Teddy. And then eyebrows, literally any eyebrow pencil works for me. And I have a, what is this, Maybelline? It doesn't really matter for me, I just do them. A little bit of eyeliner, just like a small wing. The Ilia mascara, and then the Glossier lash lick on top. Sunny's face, fluff matte lip stick in brunette or i do a uh, glossier lip tint and I, don't, I don't know the colors but i just i love the texture of this and it just looks like your natural lip but like a little different and that's it friends that's all i do okay so i'm gonna film i have two things to film and then i just have a bunch of editing for the rest of the day that i'm gonna do on my sofa and i'll catch you after for some embroidery yay also here's my lunch we got indian last night and so i'm having leftovers <laughs> Hi, cozy friends. Nintendo Switch, Steam, and PlayStation. I'm playing it on Xbox. Okay, y'all, uh, I finished filming. Now I am going to do some real work. Sit here and edit and submit some things and plan. And I just wanna show you my journal. I kind of went crazy. I was on the phone with Maya and I was in the mood to just like decorate my journal in advance. So I went a little bit crazy with stickers, the fall stickers. Here's this week's. I haven't filled out my planner yet, but I will for today. Here's next week's. How cute the following week first week of november it tapered off <laughs> this week's is so cute i'm so excited look at this little gazebo but my embroidery kit is waiting for me as a reward Um, it is like 9 p.m. and I just finished working so I'm going to actually instead of doing some embroidery I think I'm just gonna go to sleep because I have to wake up early tomorrow at like 8 a.m. to do a NPR interview what the heck I'm doing an NPR live interview which is scary I've only done one other live interview before because it was like a local news channel but this is NPR this is NPR so I'm a little more nervous but I'm trying to like you know prepare so I think I'm gonna get up earlier tomorrow so I want to go to bed early is my point so I will see you tomorrow where we will get some embroidery time in bye good night hi besties is the next day one thing 
I got these boxers in from Amazon. You guys, I'm obsessed with them. I keep seeing like, you know, boxer outfits and they're really cute, but everyone wears like blue boxers and I'm like, I don't I want it to be more folly, so I looked on Amazon for some brown ones and I found these. I love them. Aren't they so cute? And I want to style them with like a big sweater, like a big fall sweater. They're also just really cute for lounging around the house. And they have pockets. They have pockets. I'm just so excited that I found some cute boxers. Okay, I'm making the scones. Okay, organized my little Sunny's Angels in their little carrying case. I had to get this one from AliExpress, but there is now one on Amazon. It was just sold out for so long. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> well, hopefully then uh, cook some through. I think those are probably good, right? Some crisp on the bottom. Oh, you got a texture right here. Oh, that's good. Nice. That's dry. Baked scones. Baby. Yep. It's oh, yeah. good. Uh -huh. That's some good stuff right there. Mm-hmm. Finally finished filming and stuff. It's about 4.15. I have some more work to do. I'll probably just be working for the rest of the night. But I thought I would do the embroidery before that. At least read some instructions. Also, y'all, look how pretty my setup is looking right now. Whenever it's like past the afternoon, the sun comes in like through the window and then through the, the little rainbow privacy screen things. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay, we're just gonna try it. <laughs> we're just gonna try it because guess what? If this is not about, this is not about, you know, and I'm constantly saying that and you guys should listen to me. This isn't about perfection, it's about the journey. It's not about the destination. The holes centered. Do the holes have to be centered? This is the progress I made. <laughs> this is taking a while. I really enjoy it. It's really nice. It's fun. It's not easy per se, but it's straightforward. You really can just go about it how you would like to go about it. The stitches are really straightforward. I think that's perfect for like you're binging a show or you're listening to an audiobook or something. And I would keep doing this all night if I didn't have work to do. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, that was so fun. Fun times, y'all. Fun times. Highly recommend. If you find an embroidery kit 
I think I have some on my um, Amazon storefront in the like hobbies list. Definitely give it a shot. Definitely give it a shot. I feel like it's a really good like beginner's craft. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for coming with me in another cozy hobby vlog. I feel like we got we got to have like a chatty time this this time around. I will see you next time. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.